what's up everybody so as y'all know by now I have gotten me a Xbox 360 and I have three games on it shoe does not want to come off there we go um I've actually been playing it since I got home I just played uh, DSX Human Revolution um, I started off by playing Assassin's Creed 2, of course, because it's, like, one of the reasons I have a 360. Like, one of the main reasons. Um, everyone's, like, multiplads are the thing for the 360. It was one of the main reasons. Um, I'm not buying that. Really not. I mean, personally, you might have bought it for the multiplads. Me, that's not why I'm looking for the 360. Me as me being me, me being as me buying a hundred games on the original Xbox. And then you look at the games I have for the 360 right now as a three. Half of them already out of three. Two out of the three are continuations of a franchise that I have on the original Xbox. Via Splinter Cell Conviction and DSX Human Revolution when I have DSX. Invisible War and Splinter Cell on the original Xbox. No, what I wanted to make this video about, even though I love this system and it's, you know, really good right now and I'm not having no problems with it, I wanted to talk to y'all because I'm sitting here playing it. Um, did anybody else have a problem with it raising the temperature in a damn room or wherever the hell they kept it? Like, it seriously got hotter where I stay at playing my games, which is in my room. I have a Wii U that I play all the time. I have a PS4 that I play all the time. Well, not all the time, but you get my drift. Like, the game consoles I play, they don't seem to raise the temperature up when I'm playing them. Um, they're all well ventilated. They're not, like, up against the wall or anything. You can get a lot of air to them. But... The 360, I don't know what it is about it, but I think that system just, like, is a heater in itself. Maybe it's good for, like, the winter time. I don't know. But it seems like, you know, I spent a couple hours playing it, and it got hot in here. I had to open the door, got my fan on, as y'all clearly can hear, the ceiling fan's on. I got a, the fan that, you know, circulates air that way going. I got both fans going, and... It's still hot as hell in here. And the only thing that's been on is my TV and my Xbox 360. Because um, I've been playing the games. been wanting to make sure the games work. And the only one I haven't tested is the Splinter Cell Conviction. Um, <clears throat> like I said before, um, the reason I bought the thing was to continue franchises of the original generation. Like Max Payne 3 I'm planning on getting. Um, I got the Splinter Cell Conviction, now I just gotta get Blacklist, even though I don't like Blacklist, because it is a Splinter Cell game, I will get it, I will have it, and I will have every Splinter Cell game on the 360, I'll have all the games on the Xbox, I mean Splinter Cell is strictly Xbox for me, um, Ninja Gaiden 2, Ninja Gaiden 3, yes, I'll have those, Kingdom Under Fire, I'll have those, um, the Halos is a no-brainer. Fables are a no-brainer. Um, I mean, just, you know, the random stuff that Xbox franchises from the original. If it was an original Xbox franchise, not strictly on the Xbox, but an original Xbox franchise that stayed with Xbox, you know, like had Fatal Frame stayed with Xbox, I would have Fatal Frame on Xbox 360 as much as I could. But it didn't. It went to, you know, the 3DS and then the Wii U and it's been on the Wii and Nintendo. Unfortunately, that's just how that happens. Not saying that's a negative. I mean, I really would love to have the uh, Fiddle Frame 5 on the Wii U. That looks like a really good game. But unfortunately, I have Fiddle Frame 1 on the original Xbox and we're going to get Fiddle Frame 2 after I get Conker's Bad Fur Day. I don't plan on getting like Banjo, Kazooie, Nuts and Bolts. Those are... Nintendo 64 titles, and those belong on Nintendo. I know Rareware was bought out by Xbox, but I don't have Banjo-Kazooie on Xbox. You see what I'm saying? 
I don't have the time to go through and just buy have a whole shovelware um, worth of Xbox 360 games. And I know there was a lot of them. Whether you want to admit it or not, that's on you. But when you have over a thousand plus games on your console, and the only two that did were Microsoft Xbox 360 and the Nintendo Wii, you have a lot of shovelware. A lot. Not every game Microsoft produced for the 360 was gold. Not every game they produced for the 360 was a platinum hit. Not every game they produced for the 360 was a Grand Slam home run. Some of them, actually a lot of them, not majority of them, not most of them, but a lot of them. Meaning, if you broke it down, you took out the Call of Duty, and you took out the halos and took out fables we know fable 3 sucks so fable 2 fable legends is a hit or miss depending on who you are but you take out the fable 2 you take out the halos you take out the call of duties and you take out you know first person shooters which everybody seems to be like so fucking hard for you got probably about 35 percent shovelware you see what i'm saying so it's there and people who act like it's not are just fucking stupid. Um, sorry, that's my opinion. I'm entitled to it. Just like you're entitled to your own opinion. But yes, the Xbox 360 had a lot of shovelware. Nintendo did as well. I'm not going to let them pass on that. The Nintendo Wii had a lot of shovelware. You had to literally go out and find games that were worth the time. But if you put in the effort, you got a lot of good games on that Wii. On that Nintendo Wii, there are a lot of good games. And the, the part is, they don't look like they're that good. You can actually mistake some of the good games for shovelware just by the appearance. Because it's disguised that way for the Nintendo Wii. Just, you have to give them a try. So with Nintendo, you gotta kinda dig in a different, uh, different sense as where with the 360. It's kind of like, it looks like crap, it is crap. You see what I'm saying? Anyway, I just wanted to know, hey, are y'all having this thing that I'm having? Is the Xbox 360 a fucking space heater? Or is it just me? Like I said, I got it sitting right here. It's not like it's not up against the wall. A lot of air can get to it. Um, I don't think the console itself, no, it doesn't spill hot. I mean, it's a tad warm, like, okay, you've been playing me, and it's a tad warm. But it's not like overheated. Um, the brick itself is not hot. Nothing on this console is hot. The disc, when I take it out, is not hot. Nothing is coming out hot. So I'm trying to figure out where all this heat's coming from. And like I said, I just think this thing's a mini fucking heater. Um, so maybe it's just me. I don't know. Maybe I'm running hot today. I don't know. Um, but let me know what y'all think, man. Um, also, in the comments, um, if y'all can think of some franchises off of the original Xbox, because like I said, I got like 100 games. I can't go off the top of my head right now. If y'all can think of some games that were on the original Xbox, like the Max Payne and the uh, Splinter Cells and or the DSX that continued from the original over to the 360, let me know. Write them in the comments, man. I'd love to know. That way it helps me out. Because, I, like I said, I've been trying to figure them out as I'm going through. i got to pull all these games out and just kind of, you know, go through and make a list of them. And that's going to take up some time. But I'd love to know, you know, quick and, you know, easy stuff like that. If I can get the help, that'd be great. If not, it is what it is. Um, anyway, I will talk to y'all next time. Deuces.